relationship that you all have from little tykes, you know, um, and as you're ascending in your careers, um, you included, you know, details about what it was like when he was shot and injured, you know, when he was jailed in 95, when he wrote you a letter. And are you guys okay with me reading portions of the book? Yeah. Yeah. Just checking. I know a lot of you have already read it, but I just thought some of these things just uh, to, to help really underscore kind of this journey. This letter, which which kind of became like a, which was like a proposal too, yeah. right? All right, so, so he writes, um, and it's very poetic, I must say. All right, now as I have slipped from grace and the world has turned against me, again, he's in jail. Uh, here is it Rikers uh, a few claim to have love for me but once again you show me your love after deep reflection and spiritual awakening I have come to realize the friend lover and soulmate was there all the time I have not seen or felt anywhere or anyone the intensity and loyalty that you have shown me uh, that was why he concluded I want to commit myself to you that was why he repeated I want to marry you yeah Wow. Yeah. Okay, so how did you process this and make the decisions that you made? So this was during a time where I had just gotten back from seeing Pac at Rikers. And he was in a really bad shape. It was really bad. He was, um, and I, I write about it in the book, he was, um, not even completely healed from being shot. He was super thin. His, I don't know if many of you know, but Pac suffered from alopecia. Um, and his alopecia was just... Isn't that crazy. amazing to have that coincidence? I know, I know. Yeah, that later on I ended yeah. up having it too. Yeah. And we could talk about that again too, because I mean, yeah. there, there are various reasons as to what, and that's been part of your journey, but continue. Yeah. And so when I left there, um, you know, he had requested a few things from me. You know, he just needed me to take care of his mother. And I'm like, we're going to get you out of here, what have you. And I'm just fighting. I'm like, I'm going to get you out of here, Pac. We're going to find this money, gonna, you know. And I think he just had a moment where he felt like I had always just been a rock in Pac's life. And you'll... You'll see that in the book. That started in high school when we had two parents who were addicts. Pop was homeless at one time. I held him down. We just held each other down all the time. That's what we did. And I just think in that moment of just needing that rock and feeling like everything was slipping from him, he didn't want me to slip away. And he felt like he needed to marry me in order for me to not slip away. Now, what's crazy is, I told Pac, I said, Pac, we don't get down like that. <laughs> you know, we didn't have a romantic dynamic. And so he called my mother, asked for my hand in marriage. Um, he called his mother, because he was very traditional. He's a really traditional guy, you know? Um, and it just came down to it. I had to just go, Pac. You, you never have to worry about me leaving you. No matter what's going on, I got you. I'm gonna hold you down. But you know damn well you don't want me as a wife. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got through that passage, yeah. you know? Yeah, he, he knew. He, I, I tell everybody all the time, as soon as he would've walked out of them, as soon as he walked out of them gates, he would have divorced my ass. That's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. And and your your love, your bond continued. I mean, 1996, Las Vegas. Yeah. He is killed. Yep. And just this month now, there has been an arrest in his uh, murder. Did news of that in in any way kind of resolve the mystery for you? Do you have any strong thoughts about? What has happened with that investigation? Well, we've always known that that gentleman was in the car with the person who shot Pac. That hasn't been a secret. Um, so whatever evidence that they found that now they want to, you know, the, the fact that they arrested him, that's fantastic. Um, and basically, I want to know who called the hit. So 
I'm hoping that we find that out.